to welcome you to Nigeria. Um, how many, for how many of you is it the first trip to Nigeria? For how many of you would it be the last trip to Nigeria? <laughs> I can assure you it won't be the last trip to Nigeria. But it's great to have a forum of SME practitioners in the room. I cannot tell you anything in SMEs that you don't already know. Uh, but I'd like to welcome you. And uh, je ne parle pas bien français. Mais tous les personnes francophones qui voyagent au Nigeria, je dis bienvenue. I hope I hope that works. Um, you're going to have one week of deliberations, and we look forward to hearing a lot of innovation and new thinking coming out of the deliberations you have. Um, let me briefly tell you about what we're doing in the SME space in Nigeria, and then I'll leave you with a challenge that I'd like to help you solve uh, really by the end of your five days. So, as a development finance institution, we always seek SMEs. However, in the context of Nigeria, the SME discussion has become very important nowadays because it's about jobs, jobs, jobs. We heard about the population, 170 million people. We have about 2 million people coming into the workforce every year. In 10 years, as you know, Reginald likes to tell me, um, you know, I'm, I'm a half-breed. I'm from both Ghana and Nigeria. So Reginald likes to tell me that in 10 years, the number of people coming into the workforce will be the population of Ghana. Um, this is really phenomenal, exciting, but also very risky. Because a lot of the disproportionate number of people not getting employed are actually in the north of Nigeria. So for us in Nigeria, a big challenge is how do we get SME development, which is really about 50% of the private sector workforce in Nigeria, how do we get SME development to the north, notwithstanding the security issues, notwithstanding the fact that entrepreneurship may not be really as virile as it is in the south, uh, notwithstanding the fact that you know, the agrarian economy is not the most competitive. So the big challenge for us as a development finance institution in Nigeria is how do we begin to promote SME development in a greater scalable manner in the north. If you can help me answer that by the end of the five days, I'll be very appreciative. And as your host, um, and once again, uh, I'd like to thank our partners, um, you know, EDC of the Lagos Business School, who co-sponsored this event, and also IBM, who have been our uh, partners on the SME toolkit all these years. Um, I'd like to welcome you once again, but if you can help me with that question, I would be very appreciative. Welcome. Um, we in IBM are very, very glad to be partners with you in developing the toolkit and also looking at the social economic value it brings to the SMEs who are using that to grow their businesses. I think it's such a pleasure to welcome you all to Lagos. First of all, SME toolkit is 10 years. And 10 years is a landmark in any journey, whether you call it a live organization or whatever. So we wanted to be part of that landmark. The second and perhaps the most important reason is because EDC is also 10 years this year. So that coincidence for us is also a very important coincidence. 10 years ago, an idea was sparked. Maybe not something revolutionary, actually maybe something really simple, we all know. But it was recognized that technology can play a significant role in actually addressing the skills information gap that we observe among smaller businesses in developing countries. And um, back in the USA, I just started pondering about this. And actually wondering how could it leverage its assets to reach its networks um, to facilitate such a solution at scale. And that's where the SME Toolkit was born. In 2002, the vision was to provide access to information and tools that provides these businesses with really quality um, and localized content to help them learn and improve their business. 
Today, the world is much more sophisticated, yet to some extent, that lack of quality and localized content and learning tools still exists. First, there was a very exciting, a very exciting day, particularly what we learned about the next step with e-learning. I think that with e-learning, it's going to be something very interesting for our users while we're using it. We will use this particular feature to go to the next level. What we have not, not um, done till now, we start doing it. And by often e-learning to our users, I think that the, the toolkit is going to be more relevant than, than ever. My name is Tom Sui. I'm the facilitator for the SME Toolkit uh, Partners Conference here in uh, Los And this is the first, the third actually. Uh, event of this type that I've done in uh, Sri Lanka and uh, South Africa. And I'd say this was a great start. Fantastic amount of energy, uh, the ideas were innovative, fresh. And what impressed me most, we started at 9 a.m. We went till 6 p.m. And yet the people's energy level was as high at the end of the day as it started. My name is Peter Banco. I think the first day has been great. Uh, energy was good. I think everybody basically put all the issues on the table and it's a great way to start because then as we go through the week then everybody can begin to talk about those issues one after the other. So now we know the issues, now we know where we want to go, now we know the challenges, so the rest of the week we're going to talk about it. A number of you are wondering, what do they mean by unconference? Is it something like usual and unusual? So, we want to hear from you first before we start the conference. So, I'm going to ask you um, three questions. For these three questions, if you want to stand up, you can stand up. If you want to sit on the floor, that's fine. I just make sure you don't get your clothes dirty. These three questions goes thus. The first is, what are the three things you love about SMB Toolkit? Three things you love about SMB Toolkit. I'm going to put you guys in groups of three or four, and you are at liberty to choose any three or four people. Now, what I would like us to do is that in whichever group you choose, Please, don't choose somebody that you already know, so that you are not thinking in the same way. Uh, also, for our visitors, please don't choose, if you are from the same country, don't sit and choose somebody from your country. Just pick anybody else, so that you can also feel the way different people are thinking. So, what are the three things you love about SME Toolkit? The second thing is, what are the three things you don't like or you never use as far as SME Toolkit is concerned? So it's possible that you've been on the toolkit, but somehow there are some things you just don't use for whatever reason. Maybe you don't even like it. It's okay. You just want to know those three things. And finally, what are the three things that you will like to see on the toolkit that you have not seen yet. And for the first question, the three things you like about the SME toolkit, we identify the highly interactive, that it's highly interactive, yeah. and the language is simple, and it has a look and feel um, kind of uh, content. And then um, for the second question that has to do with what we don't like or what what we've never used. Uh, we identify the archaic layout of the SMB toolkit. We identify the quality of the premium content. And then we all admitted that we've never used the business directly. Um, for the third question that has to do with the three things we would like to see on the toolkit, we, um, we suggested direct questions rather than talking these things can enable people to feel the web content of 
yes, and toolkit. Then we also suggested more content on customer care, then the introduction of newsletters on the SME toolkit, then um, more improved integration with the social media to make the SME toolkit more visible and accessible. The toolkit is a gift to SMEs. It's not often that you get a gift handed to you on a silver platter. So accept the gift and use it to its full capacity. Content is king on the internet. And if you want to get the new way on the internet, make sure you develop the right content for your business. As a business owner, you must keep abreast of issues and read this content because they will help your business grow. Thank you. Um, content is not just king is also the kingdom. Because for every SME development, there are different challenges and it's always interesting that the solution to your problem is blind within somebody who just logged out of SME website. So bringing us together, if all of us here form that community, we have just started a million members because Viral marketing is all about a game of numbers. Once every one of us are committing ourselves here to start to support one another on the SME toolkit, we are brought in others either by word of mouth or by word of mouth, the internet. The SME toolkit is a tool. And what do we do with tools? We use tools. And when we don't use tools, they get rusted and we can have to throw them away. So I'm actually imploring us to use these tools and let's get other people to use them. The more we use them, the better we sharpen this tool. You, you may have noticed that the tagline for, for SME Toolkit since it started is build your business, and that's not an accident. Uh, you know, it's, it is this concept of taking a toolkit and using it yourself to build a business. But one thing I just want to leave you with is SME Toolkit belongs to all of you at this point. It is, it is yours. And what happens to it in the coming months and years is going to be based on what you make of it, but not how, just how you use it yourselves, but how you help everyone else build it. So I urge you to really be in touch now and in the future with EDC, with IFC. Let us know what you as small business unit users need and want, and let's make it happen. Thank you.